and we are back good morning everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2024 now i know i haven't posted in a while and i apologize for that it's been almost two months but frankly there hasn't been anything going on here however that's changing today we got porsche and we got car meet hosted by wheel price which is a good show i don't think i ever made a video on it but it's a really good show and then next week we got chicago motor car show which will be awesome but anyways let's hop into the tc or the trx and let's go head out there all right now we are finally back over here at hendrick porsche already open spots which is nice because we actually found parking this time already some really nice porsches we got the roof over there gt3 to cayenne turbo gt Anyways, let's go see what they got. Already walking in here. New GT3 RS. This one here finishing this beautiful GT Silver with the red wheels and accents, which is actually really nice. But it's got the Visoc package, carbon bucket seats, of course, with red steel chain, red seat belts. About the third new 3 RS I've seen. Man, they look so much better in person. Especially with this wing in the back. Just stands so tall compared to anything else. Wow. As well, we got a GT2 RS with a partially red interior, which is actually pretty rare on those cars. Another uh, 2 RS here. Both of these are my sock cars. This one with the bronze accents. And then a matching 4 RS over here with the bronze wheels. Also by sock package. Beautiful GT3 Touring over here. Looks like it's finished with carbon ceramic brakes, carbon roof, pretty blue. And then over here, beautiful turbo. Now, this is any order, any ordinary 930 turbo. As it's a slant nose, and I'm pretty sure this is the first actual slant nose I've seen in person. But it actually looks really cool. It's like a 924 style front on the turbo so of course you got the wide body beautiful interior this thing is awesome talk about a barn find this thing is fully original paint everything old 911 probably from the late 60s early 70s still original interior doesn't even look like it has that many miles on it especially the 912 Still a slightly different motor in the back. Pretty sure it's a four cylinder actually. Still very cool. Well, in the back of a Porsche store, you will find a 296. This looks like it's finished here in Russell Corsa. Of course, the iconic Ferrari color. This one with the Daytona seats, full leather interior. Pretty nice spec. To be honest, I don't see these cars as much as I should. But it makes sense because it's a V6, it's not a real Ferrari. Same deal with the Dino, however many years ago. Of course, can't forget this Heritage Design Edition. Beautiful in this red. They did take the graphics off though, which begs a question of why, but still really pretty. Also, Anthony's here and nice touring. Yeah. I don't know why they took the decals off. Yeah, it's it looked better with it in my opinion. Well, sorry for not filming. Uh, it's busy taking photos, but anyway, got a beautiful Dakar over here. Of course, we're outside as you can see. GT3, we got Meeker over here in the Gulf Pool GT3, beautiful 911 SC over here. We had some cars leave, but still some pretty nice cars here. The 96 has some pretty cool wheels. Our new RS3, love those cars. Got a G body turbo, which looks pretty cool. Of course, we got Will Step, or as I call them, Waldos. Uh, a barth. But this is what I wanted to see. This is a 996 
GT3 Cup car. I mean, full gutter interior, one seat, this thing, you could hear it. When I was inside, you could hear this thing from a mile away. You could tell this thing is full on race car. It's even got the little nozzle for the air jacks up there. It's really cool. Interior. Still kind of factory with the shifter. Wow. This thing is awesome. It's kind of a given. Yeah. Woo. The only 996 I actually like. Driving it like a baby. <laughs> Why bro got the Spider-Man spec? <laughs> Brother. It's a little early, but we're gonna stop in and get some lunch. We're just trying to find some parking right now because apparently we can't park here for whatever reason. So, fun times. But I don't even know where he's going. Well, obviously, we found some parking. Anyway, let's go get something to eat. Accompanied by this beautiful 360 Modena. Just casually riding, heading around the corner. <laughs> it's a freaking M3 CS! Anthony is in love right now. Anthony is in love. I'll be When I'm 18, I'll have one of these. Not a lot of comps for it, but F80. F80 is an F80. I always got a carbon hood too. You mean roof? Roof, shut up. All right, anyway, let's go eat, bro. <laughs> what is that? What the heck is that? That's a full-on drag car. Oh, 
okay. We're just eating our food. Not random. <laughs> Got a bit of a bad angle before, but we found some parking. <laughs> Bro just spun the intersection. <laughs> oh, I wish I was filming that, bro. It's okay. It's the takeover. Anyway, man. say hi, Lewis. Boy. What's up? Lewis is now here, and we have a little bit of a crowd. I know I haven't been recording. I've been too busy taking photos, but we got Vaughn Kitten Jr. here, which is already a celebrity enough. We got GT3RS, SVJ, Mr. Radcliffe himself. This show is chaos. Anyways, here looking around here at Corey's Viper. I never noticed this before, but this thing is on 355s in the rear and 295s in the front. And he spins in this car. I don't understand how, because these are the factory ACR tires too. If you see the logo right there, wow, it's crazy. SVJ, Zubairs, uh, DRS, really nice GTR right here. Got a couple F80s, F82s, Technica. And then we got this pretty Performante. Matte black with green accents. I believe it's all factory. And we have a wild Parmesan. <laughs> Anyway, moving along, we got JDM row, really nothing too special down there to see, but we got a Noble M500, love this car, as well a uh, Toyota Cresta, which I've seen before in this thing. It's used, it's been used, but for good purposes, like drifting. It's actually a full Tom's body kit, which is pretty rare, pretty nice. Otherwise, clean Supra here. SC300, got actually a really nice golf over here on some nice rays. Mini, of course. And when I say this show is chaotic, I mean it is chaotic. R32 down there, a whole bunch of bike, bikes, and of course, Mr. Vaughn Gittin Jr. himself brought his RTR Spec 5 10th anniversary out here. That was something I did not expect. Look at his fucking drive When you down. see come this here. exhaust come here, come look at this in shit. these tires, and he's got a GoPro it's truck. not what you think. This is an old Dodge Neon full drag car. What were you trying to point out? The, 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 the full logo. gutted interior. Look at this. Bro, he put the wheel on the steering shaft. It's a full carbon <laughs> wheel. Yeah, it it's is. Got wow. It's got fucking RPM. <laughs> Bro, this thing is go Here's your ECU. <laughs> yeah. This thing is wild. It's got the tire pressure gauge in here. It's got the Bro, it echoes the so much in the car. Let's see, how thin are these rear tires? Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? Is it front wheel drive? Yes, it's front wheel drive. Why else okay. do you think it has those biggest slicks I in thought, the front? I thought it actually may have been on all four. Bro, this thing is wild. No way. He's got a fucking... Chaos ensues. <laughs> Here we go. Oh 
God. There we go. Mopars will be Mopars, I guess. And with that, today is over. Sorry I didn't get that much footage. I was too busy taking photos, which I will definitely be posting on my Instagram, so make sure you go check that out. Same as my YouTube name. Uh, but crazy events. Car meet was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Such a crazy turnout. So much, like, crazy cars. So diverse of cars, which is cool. Porsche was a little bit more chill than it normally is. But, I mean, hey, it was still a nice, like, start up to the day. But, anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I hope you all have a good rest of your e year. Because we got some pretty cool things planned for this year. I'm not going to spill anything right now, but it's going to be pretty good. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Ciao.